How to request bank for transaction refund. Not sure how to request bank for transaction refund? Choose this template to create the document, then send it to your bank. Please, follow the link in the description to open the document form. Now, you can start to fill out the form. Begin with your first and last name at the top. An example John Doe. Next, enter your current address, the same address as mentioned in your ID or driver license. Address Line 1, 123 Example Street, Unit 1. Address Line 2, New York, New York 12345. Choose your document date. Now, please enter the bank name, Bank Example LLC. The bank address Line 1, 321 Bank Example Street. Address Line 2, New York, New York 12345. Next, add your bank account number, 12345678890. In the table, please write all transactions you want to dispute. I have one transaction to dispute, so I write here. Online Service Example LLC. Transaction date on the 1st of January 2020. Transaction amount $100. Then, I am adding the total amount of $100. Scroll down to the document end, and enter the total amount again, $100. Under the text, best regards, need to enter your first and last name, John Doe. In the notary section, please retype your first and last name again, John Doe. Good job, your document is ready. Check your personal information one more time, and click to the buy button. Proceed with the payment to download and print out the document from your computer. Important. The person whose signature is being notarized must personally appear before the notary at the time of the notarization without exception. Finally, send the letter by USPS Certified Mail. Certified Mail is best because it guarantees that the company receives it. That way, they can't say they didn't get your mail. But, if you are busy and don't have time to drive to the post office, you can mail a letter online. No more trips to the post office, no worries of social distancing, save time and do it online with lettercarrier.org. Important, you can keep a document copy on your computer, but it's better to keep a hard copy of the one you sign and send. Always keep a copy of the document, certified mail receipt, payment receipt, so you have a record. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Looking for a particular document form, kindly leave a comment below, and we will consider your request. Thanks for watching.